Well, everybody, happy Friday. Today, something looks a little goofy, doesn't it? Took the tires off the 718. I'm going to take two tires off one of my chopper boxes to put on here. And then what I did was I took the tires off the chopper because they're nine and a half 14s that were on it and I put them on my drill because my drill had 11 L 15s and my goal was to put smaller tires on the drill so when it's sitting down on the ground it's sitting more level now these tires that were on the chopper are nine and a half fourteens so in measuring with a tape measure they're about three to four inches shorter than what these tires were so these tires and actually this one's a 31 10 50 and that one's 11 l 15 so these are going to go on one of my chopper boxes and i'm going to take one of the or a set of tires off the chopper because they have smaller tires on them as well I want to say that there's nine and a half 14s on on there not all of them some but have been switched to truck tires or bigger tires so I'm gonna switch out probably the front tires on the right box that still has the other tires take those and put them on here and then put those big tires on the chopper box I'm trying to put bigger tires on those so they float better and they sit just a little bit higher so one of these days I gotta get the that wagon dug out and swap these tires around and then get this chopper put back away. Um, yeah, so that's what's going on with that. And it did it it accomplished what I wanted it to. Um, see out here, I planted these two fields. The drill sits tipped down like this, so the back is higher. Well, what's happening is it's letting the front of the drills dig in the ground too far. And it's it's really too aggressive so by leveling it out more the back gauging wheels or press wheels whatever you want to call them hit the ground sooner so it's not as it's not too aggressive so that was my goal with that and i just planted four acres over there where they're spreading manure and it it accomplished what i wanted it to see the cows are out there they're kind of recreational grazing there's not a whole lot out there for them to eat <clears throat> but I figured by putting them out there now that will get them started on grass and once it gets growing they'll already be on it and not loosey-loosey so they're talking snow tomorrow so the cows are still getting hay but they can go out there and start eating too and that way they can do some of their business out there and spread some of their own manure. Uh, the back part of that field where the rye is, that's going to be corn silage again. Then the front half here is where I'm planning on putting sorghum. So I'm not too worried about any damage that they're going to do to the field. So once they come off, it will spray burn down and well, no-till sorghum sedan grass into that. I call it Sudex. Some people call it cane. So... So yeah, the cows are out on grass. Apparently they're finding something to eat because they haven't been bellering all day. I uh, had to go do a farm visit earlier today. <clears throat> Getting trained in for working in partnership with the NRCS and oh, some other grazing deals. So when I came home, I went out there and put up one wire and turn the cows out so so anyways that's what's going on today got four acres of some seed put in the ground that I got from a feller that I met through YouTube he lives part way across the state he gave me a bunch of seed told me to try it if it grows write them out a check so Jeff I put some seed in the ground hopefully it comes out of the ground so and then I emptied out, basically I ran the rest of the oats out of the drill. So half of it has oats with it, half of it is just direct seeded. 
but they spread manure on there really really thick and the drill kind of busted open the crust so hopefully it grows good and then once they get back to hauling again there's oh I planted about four acres so there's another gonna be about another six acres to plant once they're uh, once they get more manure spread so I'll probably go and get more oats before I plant that gonna kind of compare doing the direct seeding just the grass seed mixes compared to planting some with a nurse crop so normally I do my new seeding after corn silage but I just didn't work out so and there's beans over there and I don't plan to do beans anymore so we're gonna try another spring seeding so let's see how that goes I don't know that new seeding last fall behind corn silage would have done anything anyways it got too cold too soon I think so but yeah anyhow <clears throat> the uh, 3950 is all ready to rock and roll you guys saw a clip of it this morning it's parked down here um, there were some comments made about bigger tractor I do not disagree with you I am still searching just got to find the right deal um, the one thing I do need to work on is the hitch here I need to take all these bolts out and replace them so I can actually tighten that this one's missing and they're all stripped out and messed up so I need to change them so I can get it to sit more level sit like it's supposed to so that's really all that's left and then we're ready to uh, ready to go chop rye and oats and whatever else we can find a run through it so so yeah anyhow that's what's going on I guess tomorrow they're talking snow but it kind of looks like the cutoff is south of us so we're supposed to just see a little bit of rain and the south of us could get three to six inches of snow so they can have it I don't want it things are just finally getting to where they're dry enough you can start getting some things done so anyhow that's just a little update on Friday you all have a great day have we all have a great weekend and then wood ticks them things eat it down so fast nothing gets growing enough for cows to eat so anyways thanks for watching stay tuned for more and see you on the next one